Hey guys doing today? This is Ed here at Echo 24 Tactical. So I got some exciting news. So a buddy of mine from the Navy, um, gosh, I probably haven't seen him in nearly 12 years, but we still talk frequently and stay in touch. He's a large supporter of the channel and he's going to start sending me some goods for unbiased opinions for the channel. The reason why I haven't completely opened this up, minus the fact I just slit the knife through it and peeked inside, was he is sending this stuff for unbiased reviews for the channel. This isn't necessarily for me, it's for all of us. And everybody who's getting involved, everybody who's supporting me, everybody who likes my content. So that is what this is for. And with Rollins being a good friend of mine and a huge supporter of the channel to the extent of he's sending me this stuff from Kansas and from different manufacturers and through connections that he has, I can't be any more grateful or thankful. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dig into this box, we're gonna find out what's going on here. And uh, this, is, this will just be like an unboxing, first thoughts, first opinions, and then I will have content at a later date coming for everything that comes out of this box and coming from other boxes that he sends to me also. And I'll go ahead and keep you guys all in the loop and everything like that. Let's dig on in here. So the first thing that sticks out, Arkin Optics. I'll be honest with you, never heard of them. He speaks very highly of them on the phone to me and I haven't done any further research past that conversation and I knew he was sending me this. So between my full-time job, I sell boats and yachts. If you guys are interested, feel free to give us a call at 704-892-8555 here in Cornelius, North Carolina. I have a family of two. One's five months old and the other one's just over two. And uh, my wife and everything else, trying to fit in time to research all this stuff, I can't do it unless it's right there in front of me for me to go ahead and sit down and actually do. So we'll get to this in a second. I'll go ahead and unbox this optic and everything. Uh, basically what I see here, for those of you who are not familiar with this, it's an Archon Optics. It's got a worldwide lifetime warranty. It's got a precision tracking guarantee. This is the Arkin SH TAC4 Gen 2. You can find them at arkinoptics.com. It's got HD glass, first focal plane reticle, zero stop, 50 BMG rated, fog proof and waterproof. Don't tempt me with this, because I'll try it out. Um, I did hear these are affordable. What affordable price range? I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't dug that far into it yet. Um, well, let's put this aside. Let's keep digging into this box. I don't know where you can see it. Maybe you can see it here. Oh, so here you can actually see the reticle. It looks very similar to this um, Impact 60 reticle I have on my loophole Mark 5 HD. See if you guys can get a look at that. What do you want to see? The worldwide lifetime warranty? You see that? Looks like they put a lot of time into that. Waterproof and fog proof. All right, what do we got here? We got the rigid precision scope mount, Arcan Optics, matte black, 34 millimeter, 1.5 by 38. 20 MOA. All right, so that's an Allen key in the box itself. I'll just leave that there. What I see here, based off first impressions, I'm impressed. First impressions, I'm impressed. So we'll go ahead and, oh, here, we'll let you guys look at it. Slide this back into the bag here. Throw it back in its home. Just we'll throw that up there. Looks like I got a little Arkin Optics 
precision tracking bag. Little tactical bag, I guess. Got a little purse. Ah, a little purse. Okay. This probably has a realistic reason, probably for other things in this box, but I'm gonna roll with the purse right now. Apologize. Right here outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. I get air traffic all the time. That's what we hear we're going on right now. We got flip -its. All right, so those are just protective covers for the optic itself. flip -its. never heard of that. I kind of like that, flip -its. Okay. Oh, we got one of those soft silicone bags, the fancy bags. Okay, we got a throw lever for the scope itself. A little Allen key in the back. Directions on how to install it. Damn, Rollins, you sent me everything. We got, uh, we got a little patch. Rugged precision. We got some strong claims. I can't wait to play with this optic. And then we got a uh, scope bubble level. Let me throw this stuff back in the bag here. Looks like maybe we got a shirt in here as well. Maybe, maybe. Plastic. Packaging slip. I was looking for a price for you guys. I don't see it. Okay. Maybe the optic here comes with a battery. I see a red dot on the on the reticle there, so that's probably what this is for. Oh, look at this. Styling. Came with a shirt. Damn, Rollins must think I'm... If Rollins sent this extra large, I typically wear 2XL. Should I... Should I try to squeeze in the extra large shirt? It may not look too bad. I'll put it on at the end of the video. All right. Let's go ahead and open this box up here. It's a nice balanced box. This is your first impression inside. No writing on the box anywhere. Give you an up close and personal look here. Start pulling the foam pieces off. All right, looks like I gotta take the scope out itself. pretty serious so looks like it has silicone covers as well so Rollin if you sent those covers separately I appreciate it um, Not quite sure what's going on here. Okay, so that's a uh, that's for the shade. We'll continue to pull this off here. We'll pull the silicone loosey goosey covers off. I wonder what those people thought I was doing. Um, let's see here. All right, so my first impression. It feels solid, like solid. I don't, I don't think my loop hold weighs this much. I mean, I've had that mounted on a gun for so long, a heavy gun, the Tika T3X Tech A1 chambered at 6.5 Creedmoor. So if it does weigh this much, I haven't held a scope like this in quite some time. Feels sturdy though. All right, so. 0.25 MOA adjustments. All right, this is making sense now because he did call me asking if I 
preferred scopes in MOA or, or Mills. Um, I told him MOA because of how long I've been doing it, but I said if you're first starting out, I recommend going Mills. So food for thought. If you haven't gotten a long range shooting or everything like getting a scope, if you're not sure MOA or Mills, if you're not familiar with MOA, I start out with Mills immediately. The math just makes logical sense. All right, so. Dials are very positive. I don't know if you can hear it. Very positive. Throw level lever. It doesn't feel like it'll go anywhere. I really have to apply pressure, but it's not difficult to move. Same thing, very, very positive. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of sort of impressed. Made in China on the bottom. And I'll have much more information for you guys as soon as I start playing with this optic, start looking into this optic. Let's go ahead and put this sunshade on here screws on nicely she's a beast let me see if I can look through this at all so I'm just trying to give you guys a first impressions offhand clarity I almost want to say so it's currently March 23rd in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's 1920. So the sun's starting to go down. Um, the clocks were just sent an hour back um, a couple days ago. Sun's starting to go down, so I don't know how the quality is going to look on a camera. But it's starting to get relatively dark around here, but it's still, still daylight dusk. It's like dusky. Um, And I almost want to say the clarity through the glass is brighter than the actual light outside. Look at my neighbor, Rick. The glass looks very clear. Let me zoom in here to see this, see this reticle. Reticle is very easy to read. Glass is very clear, reticle is very easy to read. So far, so far I'm impressed. Rollins, hey man, thanks for your service. We always smile when we thank each other for our services. Um, Cause we know all the BS we went through. Even though we loved and we take pride in it, there was some BS there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have a further review coming out for this optic here soon. And I'll also be reviewing the little components that came with it and be giving you more of an in-depth conversation and knowledge package of Arkin Optics. I'm going to mount this. As of right now, I'm probably going to mount this to my Daniel Defense DD4 V9 16-inch barrel with the full pick rail. That's probably where I'm going to play with this optic with. I may mount it to my 6.5. I just haven't removed my loophole from there in quite some time, and I like the way it's set. It shoots very well. I don't want to disturb that, but I'll put some thought into that, and I'll see what I want to do. But yeah, we got the Arkin Optics SH TAC 4 Gen 2, 4 by 16 by 50. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit the bell notification. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, but 
you know, I'm definitely going to dig into all this stuff. Oh, I got to put that shirt on for you. So if you stuck around this long and you're just hearing myself talk to myself, I'm going to put that shirt on for you. Typically 2XL, that's an XL. We'll see how it fits. But yeah, do all that stuff. Stay tuned for more. And I may even put this thing through a torture test because it's claiming to be fog proof, waterproof, 50 BMG rated. It has a zero stop. That's cool. Let's see here. Very cool. So as I come up, it also tells me how far up I've been. Very cool. Very cool. Zero stop works well. All right, stand by. Let me put the shirt on for you. Sorry, guys. I thought it was going to be like super tight. I'll be showing off my awesome body and everything. My awesome veteran body, but it seems to be fitting pretty well. Pretty cool shirt. Check it out. All right. I'm done playing dress up for you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Uh -huh.